Hey there, how are you doing? This is Kali from TechFans. Yes. So after some months, we are back again in the series of in-depth look. I have been using this latest official Pixel Experience Android 11 on this device, Mi A2. Thanks to the developer for making this for this device. So that's much of an intro. Let's dive into the video. It's time you cross the This is the latest official Pixel Experience ROM beta for Jasmine Sprout with Android 11 5th December 2020 security patch. There are minor changes and features included compared to Android 10. We have some animations, new volume control, easter egg, grouping the notifications in notification bar, new in-screen options, example this volume control and finally everything is seems really fine improved digital well-being new restart or power menu and important security and access control features like access the hardware only when it's needed or when it's on the screen ambient display new live wallpapers app opening and closing animations lots going on i like android 10 basically but this android 11 updates Changes are most refined from Android 10. I really love this experience. The subtle blur effects, movements, easiness, making it smooth to use. Adding toggles, button in the required places, makes some work more flexible. You may think why I am talking more about Android 11 instead of this Pixel experience. Well, I had to speak because we haven't showcased any Android 11 before. This is for the first time. The second, there isn't much to talk about the Pixel experience. The main reason to use Pixel experience is for the core Google features as it comes with well-defined Google Apps package. So no hassles, you can just install this and use it like your stock Android device. There isn't much customization in this, but it's pretty stable and usable to any extent. Apps compatibility is great. Also, it passes safety net tests. So you can use those kind of works, but not efficient. You can just click the button and see the time. Those kind of works, but not efficient. You Those kind of works, but not efficient. You can just click the button and see the time. Right, 10. It was there in 9, but not in 10. That's great. We have a decent amount of customization in terms of fonts and icons. You can play around with it, but yeah. You have double tap to wake up feature, which looks and works actually great. You have some gestures to see time and all like a wave your hand those kind of works but not efficient you can just click the button and see the time we don't have fancy face unlock and all masks are there so yeah it's not too good the battery backup is actually great i am getting normally like 530 to 6 plus hours of sot based on the usage it's actually better than stock android 10 in all the way i haven't tried gaming on it but as per the devs and other user notes the gaming will be fine on this does it mean it doesn't have any downside well it has some there aren't any fancy features and customization like network monitor indicator are changing the time widget in the lock screen those are really usable and looks very futuristic but we will miss it and it is in beta stage but it looks stable for me when considering the pixel experience you have some better options in terms of those comes with the twrp and all and you will be there having some latest features uh, it doesn't have a mi camera this is not a problem but mi camera is one of the important thing for me as i can't entirely trust gcam as it crashes sometimes that taken photo won't even be there or saved i faced this earlier so yeah i really faced a problem with the torch i turn on it but it turns off after 5 to 10 seconds i face it sometimes but uh, now it seems fine so yeah that's your takeaway about this pixel experience beta you can download it from the link in the description i will add the gsa version when we have it so every triple person can use it thank you for watching leave a like if you enjoyed it and subscribe to this channel 
Tech fans here for more updates in future. Kotmoto.